now being contained by the young man. Why not? Five point must scoring system. Winner of the round must get five points. The loser, a lesser number. Leonard in the white trunks, Virouette in the black and gold. Virouette's last adding, uh, he defeated Bruce Curry. Prior to that, he lost a good, tough 10 round decision to Roberto Duran, as we mentioned. His basic approach tactically to the fight was to cut down the room size as much as he could against the deaf, swift Leonard. We're just past the halfway point of round number one. Though Virouette is giving away a little bit of height to Sugar Ray, the reach, he may have the edge. Very long arms. <coughs> you can see that right hand when it comes out. Leonard steps inside. There was a time in his career when Sugar Ray had uh, those swift, swift hands, just bang, bang, pop, pop, pop. Now he's learned the art of leverage, and he's hurting people with both hands. Maybe I should say he is learning the art of leverage. Inside a half minute to go in the first three minute round. Wicked left hook to the body by Leonard. Inside 10 seconds. See those quick hands? First round's over. New York City. In the gold trunk, Sugar Ray still calls Palmer Park, Maryland home. A little more information about Vera Wet for those of you who have not kept totally abreast of what's going on in boxing at 147 pounds. He's won 16, he's lost three. Most of his fights have been pretty good quality. He hasn't had that many fights for the simple reason that his manager Jody Maria has been a pretty tough fellow to do business with. He uh, won't just simply take whatever's offered. He looks for paydays, and he's provided some for his fighter. Jody Maria, incidentally, had a mild heart attack on Thursday and has been hospitalized since that time. I understand he was growling about not being able to come to the fight. As a matter of fact, insisting that somebody bring him. I guess they decided not that he finally came, I'm told. Well, he's here. So he's, he's here to see his man. We're also told it's about a $40,000 payday for Adolfo Virouette. So far in Sugar Ray Leonard's career, he has not been put up against any real bangers. Somebody who had the capability or the apparent capability of taking him out. And uh, Virouette's history is not that of a knockout puncher. He has five in his pro career. But he's very durable, and he's a jab and grab sort of a guy. He's hard to get a hold of. There's a good left hand thrown by Virouette. Wasn't quite clean. Sugar Ray picked off a little bit of it. But that's where his power will come from, in that general direction, sort of a semi-left hook. Richard Green telling Virouette to cease his holding, pinching with the elbows. Sugar Ray runs him into the ropes. It's been some time since Virouette had about October 27 last year. He uh, defeated uh, Curry, Bruce Curry, in New York. side of Leonard's head, Sugar Ray comes right back to the body. And we've got 20 seconds to go in the first round. A 
the second round, excuse me. The left-hander, bit unorthodox, but quite durable. End of round two. So Grant on the right, and of course Joe Lewis on the left. Joe looks very good today. He's a bit feeble now, but still that head is high and proud man and received a tremendous ovation from the crowd of more than 2,000 here in the Crown Jewel Room at the Dunes Hotel. One of the most popular of all American sportsmen ever. Sugar Ray Leonard in the white trunks as we are in round number three. And the left hand whipped in there by Girouette didn't quite get the target. Part of it landed, part of it was picked off. Leonard in at 144 and a half. He had fought upwards of 150 against Gonzalez. Didn't have much of a workout against Gonzalez, knocking him out in March in the first round in Tucson. Looking for some work. One of the things that Angelo Dundee is so clever at is, is scheduling his man properly and not letting him sit around too long to get stayed. You can see now that Virouette is willing to stalk the man and probably take a little bit of punishment to reach him. As a left hand by Virouette to the face of Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard looking at the first professional left-hander in his career. Prior to this time, it was suggested to us by Angelo Dundee that Randy Shields fight, which was a decision and all three judges scoring it uh, by a margin of three points in favor of Leonard, but the Shields fight was probably his toughest professional fight up to now. Leonard looking for the opening. Vera Wett is in and out, in and out. He's really not as easy to hit as he might look. He takes a hard right to the head as Leonard crowds him into the ropes and he catches him with another hard right hand. And Sugar Ray now opens up a little bit as he pinches Vera Wett in the corner. And he comes away with a good solid salvo. And that particular right left combination, he missed with it. Vera Wett scores with his own left hand. Good action here in round number three. This is round number four. Leonard comes out in a hurry, trying the right hand lead, didn't get it there. Sugar Ray may be feeling now that he's found some holes in the defense of Adolfo Virouette. Well, the 27 year old from New York is acquitting himself very nobly so far. He landed two lefts, a wicked one to the body and one to the face of Leonard in the third round. Leonard got the better of the exchange on the ropes. Virouette back in his amateur days, he and his brother Edwin, as Leonard pops a good left hand to the jaw, had the unusual circumstance of where he and his brother Edwin both qualified for the finals in their weight, and they were declared co-champions in the New York Golden Gloves. Leonard now finding him more and more with that quick left hand. Five point, five point must scoring system. Under the rules of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. And all of the officials for the fight are from Las Vegas. The referee in this instance Richard Green does not have a ballot. The voting is being done by Hal Miller, Dwayne Ford, and Art Lurie. The timekeeper is Mike Morabito. And we're indoors in the Crown Jewel Room at the Dunes 
Hotel. time in his career has been off his feet. Sugar Ray with a right hand lead hit him right on the button. And down he went first time and Leonard comes out and nails him with another right hand as he's trying to get his mouthpiece back in and Leonard now is finding him with that right hand lead. He's a tough kid. Here in the fourth round Sugar Ray's power beginning to show. Peppering him pretty well right now. Again, the right hand. Again, the right hand. It goes to the body, goes to the head, back to the body, back to the head. And Leonard is really loading up on him now. He misses wildly. Sugar Ray getting a little wild, trying to take him out here in the fourth round. He stopped four in a row. Little shuffle, and he misses again. He wanted him here. He had him down. First time in his career, Vera Wet was off his feet, but I told you he was a tough, durable kid. And he's up, swinging away at the bell. Hey, wait. A look in slow motion of the knockdown. Leonard just loaded up the right hand, and he nailed Vera Witt on the button. And the young man from New York was down for the first time in his career. He was pounded roundly in that fourth round. We're now in five. Sugar Ray got a little while trying to take him out in the fourth. And Vera Witt weathered the storm. He looks all right now. He comes with the left of the head of uh, Leonard. Sugar Ray's left hand is really popping in there right now. As he is getting off a little bit ahead of Vera Wett's move. So Adolfo down for the first time in his career in the fourth round. Leonard still moving easily. Neither man really has a mark on him. Left hand above the the right of Vera Wett, and then under the right of Vera Wett as he keeps popping it right into his face. It's the right, though, that Leonard carries his power. Vera Wett missing a little bit. We'd like to alert all of our stations along the way. At the end of this round, we will take a station break. Crowd hooting a little bit as the referee gets involved here. Richard Green. Very inobvious. That means he's doing a good job. He's a good official. Now the face of Virouet getting a little red. Leonard continues to pepper him with that short, sharp jab. Leonard made his move in. Virouet tried to hook him with the right and didn't get it. This is round number five. Pace has slowed a little bit here at the fifth round. Zero at wild on the ropes. Pulling after Leonard. Can't find him. Pops the right hand into Vera Wett's face again. Off the lead. Less than a half minute to go in round five. Leonard had him down in the fourth. Pounded him in the fourth. Couldn't get him. Leonard made his move in to throw the right again. Vera Wett covered, countered, and nothing came of it. So we're winding down to the end of round five. We'll be back with more of the Leonard Verdouet welterweight fight after this word from our local station. Into round six we go. Sugar Ray Leonard in the white trunks and Adolfo Verdouet in the gold trunks. Verdouet down in the fourth. Sugar Ray right now, according to the, my score sheet, I've got a shutout going for him. But Verdouet still game, still tough. Very durable and very dangerous. Not a knockout puncher, but he will sting you. And power punch would be that left, and generally coming in from almost an uppercut position, with an uppercut hook.
Leonard's most most of the raised damage has been done with the right hand coming off the lead. That's what put very wet on the canvas. Left to the body. A little bit low. Right at the belt line. Wasn't that low? Referee reacted to it excellently. Didn't seem to bother Trigger at all. He just looked at his man and waited. Pace has slowed since that fourth round. The hard left hand thrown by Berto Watt was completely blocked by Leonard. by Sugar Ray Leonard there's another one he's in the corner and so far he has had the best of the exchange in the corner you would think this would be Vera Wet's ballpark but it's not proving that way at all as Leonard is wiggling around finding a little room inside and then rat -a him with those quick cans now he showboats a little bit, gets hit in the mouth for it. Pirouette <laughs> trying to dig at that lean, hard body of Leonard. Sugar Ray in this round willing to work inside with him and is coming off with the best of it. Rattles him around again with that combination as we roll toward the end of round number six. Hard left hook by Leonard at the bell. We move to round number seven now and it still looks like a shutout to me for Sugar Ray Leonard. He had Virouette down in the fourth round the first time the Dolpho has been off his feet in his 19 professional fights. Those 19 we were able to verify. It's his second appearance uh, for Virouette and Leonard both in Las Vegas. The last time Sugar Ray was here was November 1977 when he knocked out Augustine Estrada of Mexico. Neither man is marked, though there is a little redness in the face of Virouette. Pops a right and the left in at the head of Leonard. Neither seemed to do any damage to Sugar Ray. He's a very bright, attractive young man, this Sugar Ray Leonard. He's going to make a lot of money. Already has. As soon as he won his gold medal at the Olympic Games at 139 pounds of light welterweight, he incorporated himself in Maryland, set up his pension and profit sharing fund, and he's been socking it away. Bought his mama a house, saving his money. Not much damage. Oh, there's a right hand as Leonard uh, started to move back. And then came right back with that right hand, and he got it home. Vera Wett hooking that short left to the jaw. Hard left by Leonard. That rattles uh, Vera Wett. That shook him. But he's game. There's the uh, left hook again. comes over the top with the right hand to the side of the head and Virouette gets in to the left. Twenty seconds to go in round seven. Miss Leonard comes over the top, gets him on the jaw. The round is over, and Leonard at the bell gets a hard left hook to the jaw. Now you're Frank Gifford.
and we'll be right back. We want to remember. All right, Frank, thank you. Here we go with round number eight now. And now there's a pretty good sized lump under in the corner of the right eye of Verouette, and it's a result of those two overhand right hands. And that uh, the one right hand caught him spinning away, but the left hook, which uh, Sugar Ray Leonard was so effective with in that uh, seventh round, and it's raised a big lump under the right eye of the left hander, Verouette. Sugar is in the White trunks. Quick left jab, quick left jab, two times in a row, snapping the head of Vera Wet. Again, the left is there. Vera Wet pulls ahead. Sugar Ray started in, come away with nothing. We're not going to be able to show you the George Willig preview of the scheduled climb. Uh, Willie gets Steve Matus next Saturday of Devil's Tower in northeastern Wyoming. Kind of looking forward to that. I'm buying my way around out into the wild. The first national monument in this country, Devil's Tower, is George Willig will scale up the rock wall with Steve Matus. We'll show it to you live next Saturday here on ABC. We'll show the Willig preview to you tomorrow. We're trying to stay abreast of all things that are going on. And as you know, there's a considerable story developing relative to the Indianapolis 500 between the U.S. Auto Club and CART. That was the story we felt it had to be covered today. Virdouette digging hard to the body with the right hook. That's a good left hand. That may be the best punch of the fight thrown by Virdouette. And he got it home, and Leonard didn't even blink. Sugar Ray able at this young age to face himself from the right hand is right on the butt. That was the same kind of move that put Gerdouette down back in the fourth round. This is round number eight. Scheduled for ten. gets Angelo Dundee up shouting in uh, Sugar's corner. Well, this man might have been a little careless. Now that uh, lump under the right eye of Virouette is most pronounced. And Leonard just keeps popping away in that area of the face. That's where his left is landing most of the time. There's a chopping left hand as we're winding down to the end of round number eight. Wichita Falls. This is round nine, and that big lump continues to grow underneath the right eye of Adolfo Virouette of New York City. Sugar Ray Leonard, as best I can tell, is unmarked. He has controlled the fight, and I've got a shutout for him right now as we go into round nine. But Virouette is proving just as durable as we thought he would. Very game. The people he has fought over the years, he's had quality fights. He beats in 1975, uh, Monroe Brooks here in Las Vegas for the junior welterweight title. those that combination by Vera Wetwell. Pass halfway now, round nine. Virouette whipping that left of the body, but most of the efficiency of it blocked by the elbow of Leonard. He did, however, hook Leonard to the body with the right hand.
Left-hander gets set, gets mobile, and Leonard beats him to the punch. Sugarway's been getting off first from the very beginning. The quicker man. going at him with a right hand lead missing with it now he tries to double everything inside pound at the body Leonard missed with the right and so did Virouette 10 seconds to go round nine test round of the fight for Virouette this is round 10 Adolfo Virouette looking a little weary a little worn at least I don't know how weary he is but his best round of the fight I thought was the ninth and let's see now if Leonard tries to step it up here in the pen the right hand lead has been his most effective punch with power he scored very well with his left and particularly the left hook in a couple of rounds Verdoet was down in the fourth round and if Verdoet has in fact won a round I would say he would have won the ninth I don't have a balance. Only an opinion. Three judges to cast the ballots. Hal Miller, Dwayne Ford, and Art Lurie. The referee Richard Green has no vote. This is the way they work things here in the state of Nevada. The final round, the tenth round. Leonard with that right hand again, the right hand lead, and it just ricochets off the head of Averroet. And another one, and another one, and another one. Sugar getting a little wild again. Seems to have his man in trouble. He gets a little bit wild. Averroet, a canny fellow, isn't going to give you all of the target area that you're looking for anyhow. As we head now for the second half of the final round. And it's wanted to go in the fight. Leonard pretty well pounding his will here in this tenth round. He stopped four in a row. He's been talking a lot about knockouts during his training this week. But it does not look with a minute to go that he's going to get Adolfo Virouette. He did, however, knock him down in the fourth round. Right hand again. He's trying to load it up now. With a half minute to go in the fight, Leonard looking for him. We're going to stay for the decision because we are running out of time. We've got to get off the air just as quickly as possible. Leonard landing a wicked left hook on the rope. There's another left hook and another right to the body. And he comes right back to the head again. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Said pretty much all Leonard. But Virouette, who is taking a pounding here in the tenth round, is going to go the distance against Sugar Ray. The fight is over. Angelo Dundee, Dave Jacobs, uh, and Beckham Martin go into the corner to greet their man. Or Adolfo Virouette, game outing for him. What a tough outing for him as he ran into that buzzsaw from Palmer Park, Maryland. And Sugar Ray Leonard continues his march through the ranks of the 147 pounders of the nation. And we'll wait to hear who's next on his hit parade. So far, we have not seen any bangers on his schedule. We may soon. Here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision, Sugar Ray Leonard.
That's hardly a surprise, but it was an impressive outing for Sugar Ray Leonard as he has won 21 consecutive victories as a pro. Keith Jackson, goodbye from the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. This has been an ABC Sports presentation. Sunday, a special three-hour movie that no American can afford to miss. Is my boy dead? Who killed Michael Mullen? Your son was killed by friendly fire. Friendly fire? The true story that changed the course of a nation. Carol Burnett, Ned Beatty, Friendly Fire. Tomorrow night on ABC. There are new...